Wind energy is a rapidly growing industry with the potential to significantly reduce carbon emissions and meet the world's energy needs. In fact, by 2030, wind power is projected to account for over 50% of the world's electricity production. However, this clean industry is not without its challenges. Well, how are they dealt with? Watch the video to find out, but before that, make sure to like and subscribe. Wind turbines have a rich history that dates back to their initial use in agriculture to grind grains and pump water. Denmark is a prime example of the success of wind energy, with 50% of their electricity needs being met by wind and solar power. It was not until 1891 that the Danish physicist Poul Lecour experimented with wind energy as a source of electricity. With government funding, he created a turbine that supplied direct current to the school where he worked. In 1894, Poul Lecour even experimented with wind energy storage by transforming electricity from his wind turbine into hydrogen. Today, the Danish wind industry employs more than 33,000 people, with a turnover of 19 billion euros in 2019. In the constant search for more efficiency and lower energy costs, wind turbines have grown significantly over the years. In the early 1990s, most turbines had sizes of up to 225 kilowatt, but the newest models can reach up to 15 megawatt. As a result, the cost of wind energy technology has dropped drastically over the years, making wind turbines a highly cost-efficient way to produce electricity. In fact, onshore wind energy is the cheapest source of energy in Denmark and many other parts of the world, outperforming any fossil fuel. Although harnessing energy from offshore wind is more expensive than onshore, it has benefits such as a richer and more stable wind resource with fewer neighbor concerns when turbines are installed in open seas. Denmark pioneered the offshore wind market by installing the world's first offshore wind farm in 1991. Today, the Danish value chain for both offshore and onshore wind covers a wide range of technologies and services aimed at all phases of wind projects. In 2021, Denmark inaugurated Scandinavia's biggest wind farm. Krieger's Flak has a total capacity to cover the electricity consumption of approximately 600,000 Danish households. The wind farm is 15 to 40 kilometers off the Danish coast in a 132 kilometer square area in the Baltic Sea. It is expected to increase the Danish annual electricity production from wind turbines by approximately 16%. In recent years, wind energy has been growing rapidly and is now considered the world's leading renewable energy technology after hydropower. It has played a significant role in helping countries move away from fossil fuel energy, which is a major contributor to planet heating pollution. While the steel and towers can be reused, it is the massive blades that are almost indestructible. The composite of reinforced plastic, fiberglass and balsa wood is so strong that it costs a lot of energy and money to take it apart again. As older models are replaced, many of these get dumped in landfills. Blade waste is projected to reach 2.2 million tons in the US by 2050, and globally, the figure could be around 43 million tons by 2050. Current options for dealing with blade waste are not only wasteful, but also have environmental drawbacks. Incineration causes pollution, and while wind companies claim that there are no toxicity issues with landfilling blades, this is not yet entirely clear. Turbine blade materials make recycling hard and costly. The epoxy resins used to make turbine blades are called thermosets. If you heat them, they don't change their properties until they just burn, which makes them challenging to recycle into something reusable. It is crucial to find sustainable solutions and invest in sustainable practices to prevent environmental impact and manage the increasing volume of waste from decommissioned wind turbine blades. Sustainability is a growing concern for individuals and organizations around the world. In this context, researchers from the United States, the United Kingdom, and Ireland have come together to tackle the issue of spent blades from wind turbines. However, the team of researchers has come up with an innovative solution that could see these blades a new lease on life. In order to tackle the issue of waste generated by wind turbine blades, a new solution has been proposed. The solution involves repurposing the blades as street furniture, such as bus stops and power line masts, along with slides and other swings in children's playgrounds. This innovative approach not only helps to prevent millions of tons of waste from ending up in landfills, but also reduces the demand for new raw materials. Additionally, the reuse of these blades in playgrounds and street furniture can significantly decrease carbon dioxide emissions by up to 90%. 
This is because the energy required to produce new materials is eliminated when existing materials are reused. In addition to bus stops and power line masts, bike sheds are another potential use for these blades. The possibilities for repurposing these blades are endless, and it is an exciting new development in the field of sustainable design. However, for the millions of waste blades that cannot be used in this way, chopping and shredding them and using them as fuel or as an ingredient in cement production could be a viable solution. This approach could help save millions of tons of waste from going to landfills while also reducing the need for new raw materials. Vestas, a wind turbine company, hopes its new technology could hold real promise. The company has been working on this technology in partnership with Aarhus University, the Danish Technological Institute, and the US-based epoxy company Olin. They use a liquid chemical solution to break down the blade into epoxy fragments and fibers, which are then sent to Olin, who can process them into virgin grade, epoxy. The process uses inexpensive, non-toxic chemicals that are readily available in large quantities, making it an eco-friendly technology with low energy consumption and low carbon dioxide emissions. Vestas has tested the technology in a lab and is now building a pilot facility to test it on a larger scale for two years, after which it hopes to commercialize it. The company remains tight-lipped on further details, including the chemicals involved and how many times the process can be repeated. However, Lisa Ekstrand, the head of sustainability at Vestas, said they are filing patents and eventually plan to license them to other companies. The development of this technology is crucial to the wind energy industry's sustainability challenge, and Vestas hopes it will provide a viable solution for dealing with blade waste in the future. In 2022, researchers at the University of Michigan made a groundbreaking discovery in the field of sustainable materials. By combining glass fibers with a plant-derived polymer and a synthetic one, they created a new resin that could be recycled into various products, including turbine blades, laptop covers, power tools, and even gummy bear candies. John Dorgan, a professor of chemical engineering at Michigan State University, tasted the gummy bear candies made from the recovered food-grade potassium lactate, and he confirmed that they were delicious. For those concerned about eating an old turbine, Dorgan explained that a carbon atom derived from a plant is no different from a carbon atom that came from a fossil fuel. It's all part of the global carbon cycle, and researchers have shown that they can go from biomass in the field to durable plastic materials and back to foodstuffs. The discovery by Vestas promises a process to recover reusable materials from current turbine blades without using noxious chemicals or huge amounts of energy. This development is significant because it will help to reduce waste and promote sustainability in the wind energy industry. However, scaling up this process may face various challenges, as it is a new and innovative idea. However, this discovery is a good starting point for further research and development in the field of sustainable materials. Overall, the innovative solution highlights the potential for sustainable practices to make a significant impact on environmental issues. As we move towards a more sustainable future, renewable energy sources like wind energy are becoming increasingly important. However, the sustainability of wind energy is not just about the energy production process itself but also about what happens to the materials used in production once their lifespan is over. This is where the recycling of wind turbines comes into play. These strategies include disassembling turbines at the end of their lifespan, separating and processing the materials, and then, reusing them in various applications. With the right approach, we can ensure that wind energy continues to be a clean and efficient source of power for generations to come. By recycling wind turbines, we can reduce waste and environmental impact while also maximizing the value of the materials used in their construction. As the wind energy sector continues to grow and evolve, we must prioritize the development and implementation of effective recycling strategies to ensure the sustainability of this important renewable energy source. What are your opinions on the reuse of wind turbines? We'll be eager for your opinion and suggestions in the comment box below. Also, make sure to smash that like and subscribe button.